Uh, as for Kevin Love, uh, it's been a challenging finals, to say the least. A double-double in his first ever finals game. Then came the concussion. Then he came off the bench. And Monday, kind of a no-show as LeBron and Kyrie just went nuts. Our Kristen Ledlow spoke with the Cavs forward, who, like Cleveland fans, is expecting more of himself. Kevin, your teammates, the first ever teammates to combine 40 points apiece in the finals, when they're going off like that, when they're performing like that, how do you get involved offensively? <laughs> I mean, in a lot of ways, you just try to try to stay out of their way when they're having such a night like that. Uh, Kyrie was, uh, you know, unbelievable, shooting over 70% from the field. You know, hit a lot of threes, just, you know, was dancing all around the court. And so he, he was feeling really good and has been able to get himself going uh, in the finals here after having, you know, really a tough game too, but has really bounced back. Braun has, you know, just been himself. Um, he really filled the stat sheet in every single way. And when Boga went out, those guys playing downhill and attacking the rim, you really have to, you know, find ways to be effective that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet. You did say prior to game five, though, that without any one of their top guys, they are a different team. Now with Draymond back in this lineup, how does that affect your team's strategy? Uh, they just probably play with a different dynamic. They, uh, you know, have the ability to play small. They have that luxury, but also, you know, with Azili and uh, different players coming off the bench, being able to affect their, their second rotation, it's, you know, still a very tough team. So, um, you know, with, with Bogut out, we know that they're going to be picking up you know, on the defensive end, offensive end as much as they can. And we're going to have to be and you know, have a great showing in uh, game six here. As you've watched now back film of two wins, three losses, what do you see as the key contributing factor to forcing a game seven? Just being great all 48 minutes. We've had some lapses where, uh, you know, we've given up offensive rebounds and they've hit, you know, sprayed out for threes. Uh, they've been able to get to the free throw line. So there's just different ways on, on both ends of the floor, really, where we can be effective. And we feel like if we tighten it up, we can be, and you'll know, have the ability to get over the top and stay there, especially on our home floor. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.